Traffic is moving freely, and once again, there is access to the port of Vancouver. But that was not the case earlier this week, as a protest had this busy East Vancouver intersection shut down in all directions. That until police took action. Can you show a bill of sale for what we now call Vancouver? Vancouver police arrested six people for blocking the main entrance to the port of Vancouver. This after Indigenous rights and anti-pipeline protesters set up a blockade at East Hastings and Clark Drive, which began on Monday. Container truck traffic could not move in or out of the port. Officers finally moved in around noon on Tuesday, first reading the court injunction to the protesters. This prohibition includes any blockades or structures on or near Port Authority Road access points including the intersection of East Hastings Street and Clark Drive and the Clark Drive overpass. Did you, did you want to move to the side? Let me go with her first and then... Well, we can shout with her. She's to willing to stay, but if you're willing to go to the sidewalk, that'd be perfect. You, know, under, you heard what the uh, officers read in the injunction? Barely, but yes, I got the gist. Officers then began making arrests. Police say four women and two men were arrested for refusing to abide by a B.C. Supreme Court order guaranteeing access to the port. Dozens of officers were involved in breaking up the protest. A couple of them appeared to record the arrests using a video camera. The protest was peaceful and no one resisted arrest. One woman laid down on the road, forcing police to carry her out. After the arrests, the protesters cleared the intersection. No word on possible charges at this point. The intersection has since reopened. In a statement, the Vancouver Police Department says six people were arrested today after refusing to abide by a B.C. Supreme Court order prohibiting the blockage of the main entrance to the port of Vancouver. The protest started on Monday afternoon. Protesters were reminded of the existing court order and asked to leave prior to the arrests. For commuters and anyone trying to access the port of Vancouver, having this intersection open is definitely a big relief. But organizers say it's not over and they plan to cause more disruptions in the city. In Vancouver, Travis Prasad, City News.